So let's speak about the most important assumption in the design of reinforced concrete elements, which is the Whitney's Black assumption. Also, we will be reaching an important characteristic of reinforced concrete that's called nominal moment capacity. So let's say we have a beam and the beam is acting in bending. So we have tension at the bottom. So we have a reinforcing bar for that reason. And also we have the neutral axis where we have a zero strain and B being the width of the beam. Now, if we look at the section from this side, we will have, we will have this uh, strain profile which takes a linear form. And the ACI code, the failure strain of concrete is 0.3%. And at this point, we said that steel would have yielded at earlier stage. So the strain of steel will be greater than its yielding strain moving from strain to stress we will have this second diagram this is the true stress profile the stress of concrete increases as we move up to the edge to obtain the stress you just multiply the strain times the stress at uh, times the modulus of elasticity although the strain is increasing as we move up the modulus of elasticity or the slope of the stress strain curve decreases in a larger way so that the stress at the edge won't be the maximum value this uh, true stress profile takes a parabolic form and it depends on the modulus of elasticity change rates and many other factors so to solve this complexity why don't we assume that we have a, comp a compression block of uniform stress of 0.85 after prime C acting at depth A and it's different than the neutral axis. 0.85 is just an experimental value. Another assumption if you can notice is that we neglected the tensile strengths <coughs> sorry the tensile strengths of concrete. We are just saying that steel will carry the whole tension now if we take the resultant forces the compression resultant force or called CC will act at the center of the uniform block oh, and the T or TS tension of steel acts at the center of the reinforcing bars the, the distance from uh, the extreme compression edge to the center of reinforcing bars is called effective depth because the concrete under the, the bars w uh, works just as a cover to protect the steel and for bonding reasons as well now applying Newton's law and because the section is at equilibrium we get the T S is equal to C C this should be C okay and because uh, Meaning, and it means that the tension of steel is equal to the uh, compression in the uniform block. Remember that TS and CC are just both, both forces. So to get their values, multiply uh, the stress by the area. TS at failure is FY. Uh, TS at failure is FY, the yield stress, times the area of the bars. CC is... Uh, is the stress which is 0.85 after prime C times the depth A times the width which is B because they are equal setting them equal leads to the value of A which is FY times AS over, over 0.85 after prime C times B now because the two forces are equal and they are acting in the opposite direction they form moment couple its value is any of the two for of the two forces times the distance separating them which is called the moment arm so call it mn it's equal to uh, fy times as which is ts times the moment arm which is d minus a over 2 uh, or or instead of ts we can write cc which is this 
value times moment arm again d minus a over 2 m and value is what we call the moment capacity representing how much uh, the beam can carry carry before failure so that's it for this video and thanks for watching